Hello again everyone, Sokka here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo Career Mode and when we last left off, excuse me, I'm doing an intro, we were at the Yamaguchi Prefecture Tranquility Zoo and we were given a zoo that had a bunch of broken parts, a lot of uh, benches, garbage cans, that sort of thing was just sort of left to the wayside and we had to... Uh, we had to fix all of that stuff, hired a bunch of folks, and I imagine some of our ATMs are still down, but our mechanics are slowly and surely uh, working through those work orders and getting those all uh, squared away. Today we are going for our bronze medal and we have to place two more rescue animals. Uh, we have a lot of alerts due to the uh, mechanic not attending incomplete track. We'll hopefully do get to that today. And multiple buildings have problems. Most of this stuff has been broken down. But our uh, maintenance crew is doing an amazing job uh, getting all this stuff stood back up. All of our drink shops are open, our food shops are open, information centers are open, our merchandise stores are open, and they're slowly working on the toilets and working on our benches and ATMs. So, you know, the maintenance crew, very heavy workload for the time being. I imagine if I looked at the staff and looked at the mechanics, yeah, everyone has an extremely high workload. Uh, but as the mechanics go through, they will slowly and surely uh, repair all that stuff and then it'll become a lot more manageable, I think. So, uh, today we need to place our animal trading animals. We have two in the gift shop. We were gift shop, the uh, reward animals. We have an Indian rhinoceros and a Nyala we have to put down. And I imagine there's going to be a few enclosures here that will fit uh, the needs of these uh, animals just fine. I just need to find them real quick. So as I did in the last episode, I'm going to go through here all of our habitats. Uh, I still have them marked. Uh, but as we're going through, we have the Timberwolf, the Siberian Tiger, the Nile Monitor, and the Indian Peafowl already named already. So it's just going to be a matter of going through these not-wolf uh, enclosures that I've named and see which one fits the Rhinoceros and the Nyala. So I'll save you that trouble and go through these, see where we're going to put our Indian Rhinoceros and be right back. All right, so I think I've found a good place for our Indian Rhinoceros. So down here on the back side of the castle, uh, here at this intersection, we have a 17,007 foot square by 1,300 foot square. And this is uh, pretty much exactly the size we need. They only needed 10,000 by 300, so this allows us to expand by one if need be. Let's go ahead and get the Indian Rhinoceros transferred to storage and then get that Indian Rhino in the zoo if we please. And then we'll change the not wolf into Indian Rhino for ease of, uh, for ease of organization. So that is that one. And then next up we have our Nyala. Looking at our Nyala, the Nyala needs 3,200 feet and no water. And I believe there was one enclosure left that didn't have any water in it that I think I will use for the Nyala. Let me uh, double check that real quick. So yes, indeed, right by the entrance, here is our uh, ticket counter. So to the right of that, right here in the corner next to this incomplete path, we have a 7,750 foot square land area with no water. That is perfect for the Nyala. Let's go ahead and name that Nyala for ease of use. Get that out of the animal trading. Transfer to animal storage and then get the Nyala in here as well. And as soon as those two animals are placed, that should complete our bronze medal, uh, getting our seven rescue animals. Looking forward, we need to continue placing rescue animals, complete the transport ride, increase the rep to three and a half stars, and the inspection rating of 3.0 or higher. Basically, we can increase the marketing campaign up to a full-blown five-star marketing campaign to get a lot out of it and then hopefully the education will start slowly going up as our people are walking by our animals. Uh, as soon as the rhino and the Nyala are put down, we're definitely going to uh, get the... Definitely going to get the... Are you placed down yet? Here we go. We're definitely going to get some education put down right by the windows, but the Indian rhino is on their way. We'll go ahead and get this place set up for the Indian rhino. As, uh, as intended, and there we go, Indian Rhino is now in the zoo. Let's go ahead and get her sorted. We have a Mena. 
So 7,000 feet. No, the, the enclosure said... The enclosure was definitely not just 7,000. If I looked at the Indian Rhino, and I looked at the barrier, yeah, 17,000 feet. Is this a lie? Was I lied to? If anything, we can reduce the, uh, the amount of hills we have here, sort of flatten it out for our Rhino, who isn't known for their uh, climbing ability, that is for sure. Uh, so maybe the entire land area here is 17,000, but we need to do some uh, land modification to make that happen. One easy way we can do is look at the habitat. And yes, indeed, the, the poor rhino doesn't have a whole lot of walking space. They have plenty of water here in this little alcove, but if we can uh, flatten out this area here just a bit, that will be fine. So let me go ahead and take care of that uh, in the meantime. Thankfully, we have all of our terrain modification tools here, uh, and it may also be handy to get any plant life out of here. Oh, well, the, uh, yeah, the rhino likes it. So, yeah, it's just going to be a question of flattening out this area as best we can to get the most land uh, possible. We only need 3,000 more square feet, so let me lower this and do a crap ton of land modification, and I will be right back. All right, so after some manipulation, we've got the uh, walkable area, including the uh, the little pond here and a lot of walking space. Um, possibly what I can do is also delete some of these uh, stumps in here and see if that also helps our walking area as it recalculates here. Yeah, it's a lot more space. 11,000 and then we have our water. So too much soil, we need a lot more short grass. That is easily done. Uh, as we pushed all of this terrain down, it put soil in its path, which we do not want. Uh, we want some more short grass. So let's get that size all the way up and just grass right on in there. Get all of this soil gone. That'll be one happy rhino uh, as soon as that terrain comes into play. And there we go, lots of grass with some water and plant life is uh, well taken care of. I don't think we know any enrichment items for our rhino. We can take a look and see, uh, but that may be something that we have to get uh, researched quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, so yeah, we'll just need our water and then we'll get a uh, feeding trough as well. Let's go medium food trough and then that should be fine. Now all we need to do is get our education item set up right on the outside if we can. So donation bins, of course, a one. And let's go a two. And then education speakers, we'll plop them down right by the glass areas. And make sure we start getting some education over here for our rhino. It's a little iffy there, so I'll come over here. Yeah, and as people walk in and out of the bathroom, they will hear about the Indian Rhino as well. Definitely buy the donation bin in case people want to donate. And then we'll put one over here in the corner. And then we will get our uh, sign board up and running as well. Uh, where is our signage? There we go. Education stand. Let's go right there and turn that on to Rhino. And then we will just be waiting for our Nyala to come in. But overall, I'm pretty sure our Indian Rhino will be happy. Wherever she may be. Where in the world did she go? Might as well rename her Carmen San Diego because I can't find her. Did she go um, under here? No? Okay. Where is she, uh, where is she walking? How can an animal that big just flat out disappear? That's what I want to know. Hey, where is our Indian Rhino? But more importantly, Bronze Star down. Goodness. You've utterly transformed this place, haven't you? It's just so wonderful to see the animals happily settled back into their habitats. Oh, but there is some bad news, I'm afraid. Right. Our accountants just told me that Mr. Meyer sunk a ton of debt into this zoo before he abandoned it. Unfortunately, that means it's up to us to pay it off. Still, on the bright side, a big batch of animals has just been delivered to the park. 
So get them settled in and listen. Don't worry too much about the debt. All right, so we have a lot of simians, that is for sure. We have the western chimpanzees. We have the red tail lemurs, which like to climb as well. Another Bengal tiger, West African lions, and we do have that really big enclosure that we haven't placed any animals in. We can start uh, getting a semblance of some African safari going on here. And 20 reward animals that we'll have to place down. Uh, receive the inspection rating. Okay, we're working on that. Working on our reputation as well and building out that transport ride. One thing that we want to take care of first and foremost there is our new Nyala. And we do have one Siberian Tiger female. Do we have a Siberian Tiger male? Yes. Yeah. Oh, we have a Bengal. Yeah, they're probably not going to get along that well. Uh, so that would be a separate tiger category for sure. All right, so let's just get our Nyala straightened out while we can. So our Nyala has popped down over here and people are already ready to go. Uh, looks like we need some hard shelter. We can definitely oblige that. How about, okay, so that plant species is gone. We'll need to get in some African tropical and grassland foliage as well as a hard shelter. All right, so let's go in with our filters here. Go Nyala. Let's see if we can get the small. And what I'll do is I'll rotate it this way so that perhaps uh, they can hide out if need be. So we'll put that down. All right, so that's hard shelter. Well, it was hard shelter. Does that not count? Do, is that not part of our habitat? No. We've sort of... Yeah, we sort of boxed them off. Okay. So we'll need to make do with that. Place it maybe like right here. Let's see if that will work. That way there's some walking space. Yeah, there we go. We need a little bit more soil at the expense of the grass. That is easily done. And there we go. That one's done. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Let's get in some plant life here. African, grassland, and tropical. All right. So continent Africa and grassland, pro grassland and tropical. Let's see if we might be able to sort of block this off a bit. Okay, that's a little bit of coverage, not bad. Oh, that K-Pock is huge. Could do now there's no such thing as a little K-Pock. There's a little mur Murala tree though. There we go. So two little trees there. Let's go ahead and get some uh, uh, our water pipe. We'll go ahead and put that over here, let's say. And a food trough medium. So that will be their basic goods. We don't know anything about their um, their enrichment, though. And that's going to be one thing that we're really going to be limited by until we really start researching. Just out of curiosity, are we doing vet research? Yeah, we're researching the Siberian tiger, and we are halfway. Okay, so what is our zoo's best animal? Yeah, the Siberian tiger is still the most appealing, so most people want to come to see that Siberian Tiger, so we can go ahead and uh, continue working on the Siberian Tiger, unlocking education buffs and things like that. Uh, so that should be all well and good. One thing I also wanted to see was our finances and our loans. Um, so we've borrowed 50000 and that is true. We, we took that out. We paid $700 in interest, and there's 42000 left to repay. Hopefully, with us not really purchasing anything, we can make that money back and get that loan paid off and then run self-sustaining. That is the ultimate goal. Let's go ahead and get some a donation bin right over here for our Nyala. What do you mean it's uneven? Okay, we'll put it there then if you want to be uneven. Tell me what's going on. All right, place that there. Tune that to the Nyala. 
tune that to Nyala and then copy that. And we've got the Nyala corner going up in here. So that should be fine indeed. Yeah, I know a reward animals can be claimed and it's gonna be a big dump. Um, if we look at the Western chimpanzee and we see what kind of uh, land that they need and then just the sheer amount of Western chimpanzee that we've got. So grade three climb proof, higher than 16 feet. Uh, we've got 861 feet of climbing and 8,000 feet squared of land. We do have some very, very big plots of land in the zoo, uh, like these super bigs. We've got this one at 42,000 feet and 28,000 feet of water. That is just crazy. And then the question is, I don't know if those barriers are going to be high enough. Let's take a look at these other super bigs. So this one might be more along the lines. Really, really tall concrete walls uh, that is definitely not built for climbing. Enough space for us to put down some climbing apparatus, that is for sure. Uh, we've got some water in there. So this might be something that we place a whole crap ton of animals in. Uh, and the Western Chimpanzee, do they get enrichment bonus? No, they don't, but they are from the African tropical biome. If any one of these other animals are from the, like the lemur, the red-tailed lemur, where do you come from? So... Africa tropical biome so we could probably get away with putting in red lemurs with the chimpanzees because I don't think they'll attack each other and they live in very similar uh, habitats African tropical so it would make sense that we put all of our uh, chimps with our red tail lemur and that can get a lot of people interested in this area right over here so yeah Okay, let's go animal trading. We're gonna get all of our Western chimps into animal storage and we'll get, no, 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 no. And we'll get all of our red tail lemurs, holy crap on a cracker, into animal storage. And then we're gonna go into animal storage, select all 15, send to the zoo, and this will be super big. All right, then we are going to call this one chimp lemur. Yeah, so our people are going to be really busy for the time being bringing all of the uh, animals on over. But just the fact that we are going to have so many more animals, that's going to increase our zoo rating quite a bit with animal rating. So that is going to be fine. Tickets are underpriced. Awesome. How about a tenner? Everyone that comes in, ten. Yeah, we're not going to worry about the incomplete track yet. We're not going to worry about anything like that until our... Um, reward animals are placed and that's gonna be a big chunk of them right here out of the 20 I believe that was 15 that we're gonna place down in one fail swoop uh, so yeah that's gonna be awesome indeed so I will wait until we start getting uh, some more animals in here like so Chinese pangolin no 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 box box up that animal please send them to the trade center I don't want the pangolin All right, fine, unbox the animal and then send you to the animal trading center, please. Trade center. Yeah, the uh, with the selections hanging over, that, that was the problem. So I will wait until we get one chimp and one lemur in here so we can uh, start modifying this area up. All right, enough climbing space for our chimpanzees, plenty of space. Uh, looking at the trees, we need to remove a lot of plant species, so we can go ahead and do that. We'll need to get some coverage in here as well. Yeah, and that's going to uh, <clears throat> basically clear out this whole place. But once we get African tropical uh, nature in here, we should be okay. So. Africa Tropical, we'll get rid of that and say, ooh, a K-Pok. Yeah, we can do a K-Pok. All right, that's pretty good. Let's try an Apple Mangrove. 
Yeah, there we go. And we'll do another. Let's try a tree fern four. Not so much on the coverage. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice big tree. Maybe, maybe a coconut palm. A little bit more. Okay. Coastal mangrove, sure. Putting those out in the water would be okay. So we got a little bit of vineage. The tarmelin tree. Ooh, that looks okay. Yeah, there we go. So now we're at 100% plant coverage and everything makes sense. It's going to recalculate our... Why do we lose climbing area? Probably for the trees. Okay, so that's a little bit of a thing. Either that or more chimpanzees are coming in the zoo. So we need a lot more climbing. Which is entirely possible indeed. Alright, how is everything else? So everything else is good looking at enrichment. Yeah, the nutrition. They need good meals. And space. Yeah, we, we just need to get the uh, climbable area set. Alright, so we'll... Just select that up again. No, not the huge O tree. Unless we're clipping, yeah, we were clipping a little bit of the roots. So we'll duplicate and put the put it say over there. Yeah, it's floating just a bit. Okay. We can uh, advance, move, and lower all that down. Thankfully, nothing else is over here. So we'll go uh, advance move and drop that right to the floor if we can. All right, hopefully that is enough climbable area. Yeah, plenty of climbable area. Ground is good. All right, so now we just... Oh, still underpriced. How about uh, 15ers? Yeah, see if we can start making that money back on ticket sales. Cash flow is going out because we're purchasing a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but now that we're getting a lot of these animals in... I think our appeal is going to be really, really good. Alright, so now we just need our education items placed. Uh, let's go ahead and get them. Let's go species and let's go red tail lemur. Or red rough lemur. Okay, yeah, sure. Red rough lemur. We're going to need a water pipe. Maybe even two. So I'll put a second one over here. Uh, then let's get the arboreal feeding platform right there. And uh, how about right there as well? So that should be enough for our keepers to come in. And I imagine our keepers are going to be very, very busy for sure. All right, so we got the underpriced going. One thing that I wanted to see is our uh, rhino enclosure as our rhino uh, happened to escape. So I want to make sure that our rhino isn't trying to uh, knock down everything. All right, so you're there. We will unbox animal. Our mechanic is working on this entire enclosure. Barrier status is 100%. I know the rhino looks bored, and he was in a box so long that he took a dump, as you do. All right, so we need some enrichment items for sure. Hopefully, our veterinarian can get on some items that we can uh, use quite well. All right, so that is all 15 animals placed down. We have four more to place down and increasing our rating another star and our report. So Nile Monitor, Siberian Tiger, Timberwolf, Indian Peafowl, and Chimp Lemur are going to be the highlighted areas of our inspection. So hopefully, in the meantime, we can get some education. That is first and foremost. And let's sort of alternate as we go. Let's make this the red tail, red rough lemur. And then over here, we're going to red rough lemur as well. And then we're going to copy and do another double. But this time, we are going to do chimpanzee and do another duplicate and go chimpanzee right here 
and sort of nuzzle that in as best we can. Sort of look like we were encroaching just a bit. There we go. There we go. So, chimp, chimp. All right, let's get donation bins down. One, a two, and a three. Let's also get some trash receptacles in. Now, it did say there was a lot of litter, so our caretakers may very well be overwhelmed. Uh, let's take a look at our heat map and say a negative impact on gas. All right, so we've got those. We've got uh, basic things here. Yeah, the, the guests really don't like seeing broken down stuff, which is to be expected. Yeah, there's some litter over here, it looks like. We need to get some decent garbage cans over here. Sounds good. All right, where is our nearest trash receptacle? There you are. We're going to duplicate. And we're going to start putting some right along this path here, especially next to the ATM and right by the restroom. Hopefully our mechanics are going to continue doing a good job in repairing all of the broken things. That is like our main concern right now. So caretakers are okay. They're, they are efficient. Keepers, a few are high, but one is, one is high, a few are efficient. Mechanics still need some time off. Security guards are low. A few of the vendors are low. And a few of the vets are high, then the others are efficient. So it's just the mechanics right now who are struggling to keep up. And that's mainly just from all of the broken things uh, that, we've, that we've got going on here. Overcrowding, the western chimpanzee. Well, you're the one that gave me a crap ton of animals. Overcrowding of the western chimpanzee. So what, what's going on here? Five. We have five adults. And you have plenty of space. So I don't know where this overcrowding business comes in. Maybe it's the wrong, uh, the wrong ratio of male to female, perhaps. But there's nothing I can do about that, because that... Yeah, feeders are low, but hopefully our zookeepers can, uh, can keep up with that. Yeah, I don't know what that's uh what that's all about. Maybe it doesn't like being in there with the red rough lemur, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure where all this uh, dangerous fighting is coming from. All right, multiple buildings with multiple problems. So the ATMs are still broken down. Mexilente has no power. Why do you have no power? Is there a gap that uh, I missed? Let me take a look at our power here. Just out of range. Because of course it is. Is there anything we can do? Or is this power supply broken? That very well could be. Yeah, that transformer is about dead. But even then, I still don't think it's going to reach Mexilente. But we'll call a mechanic just in case. Yeah, ideally we need to just shimmy some of these, uh, some of these transformers around just a little bit. Yeah, for the time being, let's get three or four more mechanics in. So we can try to uh, curb some of this. One, a two, and a three. Go for it, guys. <clears throat> Get to it if you can. All right, so Nile monitors are about to mate. That's all well and good. That's fine. Who do we have left in the trading? So we have our Chinese pangolin. Then we've got three West African lions, a Bengal tiger, and the Galapagos giant tortoise. Uh, we might be able to get away with putting the tortoise with someone else. If we look at the Zoopedia, 
They are a, a South American tropical, and they need 2,000 feet with just grade one fencing. They're real easy to place. It's just a question of who do we want to have shared with this space. Okay, so I'll take a look at the Zoopedias here. So you're African, grassland and tropical. Get it? The, the tropical stuff might be okay, but it's just the different biome trees that uh, I'm a little bit concerned about. Um, there's got to be a small one we can put down for sure. And then these other ones, the three lions, are going to be interesting. Uh, looking at the Chinese pangolin, I don't know what, uh, what stretch of the world you come from. China, of course. Asian, temperate, and tropical. So a lot of tropical animals, but it's just the, uh, the, the mismatching trees may pose an issue. But uh, we will continue to work on that in the time being. How is our inspector? Inspecting cheap chimp lemur. So right over here, our inspector is doing the business. Zoo reporter. Hopefully she likes what she sees. I can't really see. Okay, four stars. We only needed what, three? Yeah, we only needed three. So hopefully we can get a three star rating out of this. And we need to place down those five animals. We need to start making some profit if we can. Uh, looking at our... Where is our finances here? So yeah, we can make 10000 per average year. As long as we don't keep spending on a lot of exorbitant things, uh, that would be fine. I don't know if we can get that ride up and running. Would that pay for itself very quickly? as these uh, people want to hop on the ride. We'll have to take a look at where this track goes, where it should connect up to logically before we uh, pull the trigger on it. So we can sort of see where these tracks end up and where they should go eventually. But that will be in the next episode, I believe. So today, a lot of animals being placed down. Really happy to see that they are mostly happy looking at the welfare Chimp Lemur, what is up with you? Zero. Absolute zero. Why are you absolute zero? So you have no enrichment. We're working on that. Social space. You were placed wrong. Like, is, is this habit... Okay, this is an easy fix. I can make a land bridge through here if they feel sort of isolated out. Like, what is your habitat? Yeah, you were, you were sort of pigeoned off from the rest of the world. Well, why didn't you say so? That's why there was overcrowding. Watch this. Okay, yeah. Easy fix. Terrain, we're going to raise this bad boy up. We're going to pull this terrain. Well, I thought we were going to pull this terrain. You telling me I can't pull this terrain? Well, if anything, what we can do, fine. Fine. We are going to... Can we move you? Because we're going to move you. Box animal. Then we are going to move. And you're going to move over here. Alright, then you. Yes, you. Box. Guess what? You're going to move. And you're going to move over here. And then you. Box. Ready. Ready. Move. Move over here. All right, were those the only items spotted a pro pro protester? Yeah, and it was probably due to this stuff. With the animals being placed down on an island all themselves, and I can't build up a land bridge at all to connect up this land. I mean, we, we kind of got one here. I wish I could modify that. Pull that up. Can we? No. We can't manipulate this at all. So if it's in the water, we can't touch it. So we have terrain tools, but not really. We can't make the land bridge out there and give them a whole bunch of space. Well, I tell you what. I'll pay the fine, but it's going to be under protest. But we've got a nice amount of 
animals here. A lot of people coming to get educated. So hopefully those education boards will increase. Happiness will increase. But that will do it for me in this episode, everyone. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Planet Zoo video. Take care.